Oh, hello there, how are you all doing? My name is Alex and welcome to a little house tour that I've wanted to do. Just a concise video, in one video, a full on tour of the house so we can discuss what we're going to be doing with the certain rooms in here. You guys can give me your two cents, I can give you my two cents. You know what, after I've done this mopping, we'll, um, we'll crack on, shall we? Welcome to the video. So, here's this mop, put that away for now. This, well this is the kitchen. Um, we may as well start with the biggest room in the house. It has this sort of center island thing here, which is, uh, well it's an island. A, uh, I matched the floor, the marble floor, with a, with a marble top and I got one of these inductive hobs just to make things a little bit easier on the cooking front because I'm, I'm not a massive good cook or anything like that. So if you take a look at my, my fridge here, uh, it's essentially just alcohol and, and the milk is for coffee purposes only. So that is, that's my fridge. I don't live here at the moment 100% of the time, so that's why there's a little, a little bit scarce in there. You've got two ovens here for cooking sort of two cakes at once, I assume, if you wanted to cook two, there's all that, it comes with all this stuff. Um, I have no idea how to do that, and anything to do with that. But it's all very fancy, it has these cool menus and, and stuff on it. And this one, believe it or not, is actually a microwave with a towel inside of it. Why they're in there, I have no idea, but they can stay there. And this is really cool. This is a warming drawer, so you can actually turn that on and give it some heat, and then you can put your plates in there, and in about half an hour, your plates are warm, if, that, if that's something that you, you like, warm plates. Anyway, freezer down there. This is the sort of washing up area. Is that what you call it? This is a sink. Um, it's mainly got supplies in there, like a, Whatever one of them is for covering holes up in walls and stuff, just to, it's a bit, bit messy, so please, please bear that in mind. I'm gonna have this place tidy, it's just because we're obviously moving in at the moment. Got my coffee machine with all of my coffee capsules there. Love coffee, revolves around coffee, my life does. Anyway, we've got these cool LED strips that are underneath, um, that were, well, pre-installed when I bought the house. So what I'm gonna do is actually rip them out at some point and put some Philips Hue or LifeX ones under there uh, and have the whole thing lit up really, really cool and put some strips up there and have it looking awesome. There's a window out onto the road. You can literally see the neighbor's house right there. It's being built. Um, yeah, there you go. That house, by the way, is identical to this one. So. I need to try and make this house stand out and make it better than theirs. This is a competition, I'm joking. Um, so here is the big space where the table is going to go. I've ordered a big marble table to go here that's the exact same as this floor. And it has some metal legs that come up like that and yeah, hopefully that should look nice and light and airy. And this is Slowpoke, the cactus. It has a name, Slowpoke. And if you watch the vlog where I actually went to buy this thing, the reason we're calling it slow poke is because number one, he, he pokes you, but number two, we had to drive really slow to get this badger back in my car. He was sticking out the roof, and if I drove any faster, it would have ripped his head off. But he's here, he's in one piece, he's got all of his friends down there. Um, I haven't named them yet, so any names for those guys would be really appreciated. So yeah, this is the kitchen. I've installed some lights. These is, uh, this is really cool. And then um, this is really, really cool. This is my favorite piece of art. I like this because of the name of this thing. Is number one, it's a one of one, this. There's not another one like this. Number two, it was kind of like a mirror, so it makes the room feel a bit bigger. And number three, the name of this piece of art, which is the sole purpose as to why I bought it, the name of it is Iron Man's Piss in Circles. And it's clear to see why. So over here, this is where I've been doing the most work, and please bear in mind that it doesn't seem like much, but you can tell that a lot of time has gone into making this work. So to start with, if you just look over there, you see that radiator that is literally just there. That identical radiator was here too, but I didn't want it because I wanted this wall to be really, really clean. So I had a plumber come round to take out the radiator off the wall. That is now no longer there. The wall has been plastered back up. Whilst that was happening, I chiseled out this entire wall that goes, well, from here to here for the cables for this massive 65 inch um, 4K HDR TV. It's, I think it's LG's like late, it's like, I think it's actually LG's last year's model, but it's super thin, looks super awesome on this wall. Need to get some LED strips around that um, in the near future. But then my pride possessions. I love music, okay? These are my, LS50 wireless speakers from Kef. 
These are absolutely incredible. I like a lot of bass, and these speakers do have a lot of bass already, so they don't need much more, but I wanted a bit more, so I installed this RHEL subwoofer down here. And as you can see, the whole thing, other than this, which I'll explain in a second, is super, super clean. Like, this is a, a clean setup. If you see the cables coming out the wall, they have, they have these awesome braided things around them, and the whole setup, just when you sat on this sofa, which is going to be replaced soon, is just so lovely. I need to get a, a little console table or something to go there, so that is in the lines that needs to be happening. And the way you interface with all of this, by the way, is you have the, the lap board from Corsair, and my favourite mouse, which is the MX Master, and then you can just sort of interface with the TV and you've got yourself a full mechanical keyboard right there. So that essentially just lives on this sofa for now. So at least I can come around here and consume some stuff and then just ignore all the stuff that's on that screen. That's just stuff to do with work. Where should we go from here? Garden? Garden. We've got these big bifolding doors which are absolutely awesome. They open like that with a firm push. Unfortunately things are a little bit dirty here um, because I, I am still, still moving in. My grass for some reason, decided to decided it just didn't want to live anymore. So the sprinkler is trying to revive that. Um, this is the garden. It's not the biggest garden in the world, but it's cool. The space around here, which I'm going to install a, a hot tub in this square here. So that's going to be happening soon, which is really cool. I'm going to extend the patio all the way down here. I've had these these lights in, installed here. Um, they're just lights. I mean, they're smart. You can you can you can sort of use your voice to mess around anyway. Not sure why you guys would be interested in this. Um, at the moment, this is my garage. Um, it's just got loads of rubbish in here at the moment. But essentially, I'm gonna be turning this into a massive DIY set. So there's gonna be a really nice floor in here. It's gonna be like really squishy, like a really nice sort of workman area floor, like a really squishy one. Then I'm gonna have a bench all the way around here. So if we ever have any DIY projects, we can come in here and it's like a set and we can build things and make really cool things. So that is coming up. And if you guys have any, any thoughts about this, by the way, this is, that was just my idea for now, what I want to do with the garage. Um, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, DIY area. I want to make something really cool in here. I was going to turn this into a cinema room, but DIY area is speaking to me right now. I'm going to do that. Let's go back through here into the kitchen um, and take a look at some of the other rooms, I suppose. The one thing I do just really love about the property is that it is just so open. So it's uh, it's not a huge place, but it's also because it fe because it is all open. Like it's a big open kitchen diner. It feels massive. It's my favourite room of the house. That's it's so so open. Talking about small rooms, actually, um, I don't know if you guys can see this from there, but there's this. Sorry, sorry, state for a room. Like you can't even you can't even fit a person in there. I'm not really sure what that's for. It's a bit of a Bit of a waste of a room. Anyway, this is the lounge. That is a, don't know the model number of it, but that is a 82 inch uh, 4K HDR TV from Samsung. It's their latest model. It's huge. Don't know why I have it, but I do. It's a thing and it's staying here. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to turn this into a massive, well, I'm not going to turn it into a massive cinema room. I'm going to turn it into a cinema room. As you can see, the space isn't really huge, especially not big enough for this type of TV. You get the point what I'm trying to say. I'm going to turn this into a cinema room. That's why I have this big TV. Hopefully that is going to be a really cool project. And that is essentially downstairs. There's two rooms. This one, and the, actually I tell a lie. This, there's a rather large downstairs toilet. Like this, this is huge. And the marble floor carries on, which is what I like, into here. There's a, a sink and a, uh, a toilet and a bathroom, really. I need to put something here because it's so big. I don't know why it's like, it doesn't need to be there. Anyway, let's go upstairs because that is essentially downstairs. There's also an understairs cupboard, um, but that's just a bit messy, so we'll not, we'll not look in there. So, upstairs, um, what have I done in here to really talk about? This is a hallway. Oh, I've done loads of things, actually. I've ordered a big chandelier to go here, so I need to install that at some point. Please excuse all the mess, by the way. It's still, you know, there's a lot of building work and stuff going on still. But in here, this is the spare bedroom, and these are actually, there's a dead fly on that. But these are three pictures that my girlfriend got me. They're absolutely awesome. And they all mean something to me. Like these are maps of like my favorite places in the world, which is wicked. So, and they've got nice frames. So thank you, girlfriend Maria. I appreciate that. This is the spare room, number, spare room number one. 
Um, I'm going to put a double bed in here and this is going to be my best friend's room who's going to be living with me for a little while, so that's really cool. Uh, what's next? Um, should we go over here into these rooms? This is a big boiler cupboard. Like This is quite a big room, um, actually. I'm going to put, I don't know, stuff in there. Big shelves and big fires. This is, I think, the second bathroom of the house. It has this really nice sink here um, with these taps that sort of come out the wall. The thing I like about the house, it's just nice. Like all the fittings and all the tiles. And so I chose all the tiles and the doors and the door handles and everything. It's just, it, just, it just feels like really nice and really modern, which is what I, what I like over the sort of size um, of it. Talking in, you know, YouTubers' houses, all, all these big YouTubers have mansions. And this is just like, it's just cool, man. I just love this. So this is my, this is my room. Um, it's got two windows and nothing else. Oh, these cupboards here are quite cool. It's got sliding, sliding cupboard doors. I installed these. These are cool and there's all shelving units inside there. So that's where my clothes will go. I'm going for like a really retro look in here. Everything's going to be wooden. going to have a wooden bed, wooden light fixture. Everything's going to be like really wooden and rustic in here. And they actually do have an ensuite, which is pretty sick. Again, there's some toilet roll there and I've bought some aftershave around for if I need some aftershave. But there's another sink and there's like a cool vanity unit in there. Um, and another toilet, all the toilets are identical and a towel rail. Um, yeah, let's go through here. So essentially this is where things change the most. I don't want to give a massive shout out to my friend Luke because he's an absolute genius. This, okay, there was a door here when I bought this house, right? And there was a door here that still is. But essentially inside of this room, if you went through this door, there was a really small room, which I really couldn't figure out what it was for. It was classed as a bedroom, but it wasn't even big enough to fit a bed in there. You could probably fit a cot in there for a, a baby, but not an actual, even a single bed wouldn't have fit in there. So I'm not really sure what the legit... So I wanted to get rid of that room because it was pointless to me in my lifestyle. I didn't need a small, tiny room like that. So what I did was I boarded that door up and then made an archway here and... Um, made this setup for now, really. That's what I've done. So this is now one, one massive room. I'm going to put a big sofa bed here. It's going to have a sofa that then turns into a bed. So if I then have more people staying over, then there's somewhere for them to sleep. What I'm actually going to do is this, this is my office. So this is going to be my office, the whole thing. And in here is going to be my setup. Now this is only a small little temporary thing. Um, I've just got my KRK Rockets there and the KRK 10 subwoofer. And then this monitor is really cool. This is LG's 5K monitor, really awesome display. Um, and I have that hooked up via a single USB-C cable to my MacBook Pro. Um, and this is where I edit all of my vlogs and, and videos and stuff. And I've got a shout out to GT Omega for the custom Mars bar chair. I've got two more of these as to which I'm gonna be doing a project in this room with. And then, um, yeah, I've got this cool trackpad thing for the Mac because well, I, I'm so used to the trackpad because I'm, I've never used like an actual desktop Mac, so I use these. And a lot of people have said, Alex, why are, you, why are you using a Mac? What are you doing? What, you, what the heck are you thinking? The reason I use a Mac is because editing vlogs on a Mac, which is what I do every day, about two hours of every day, works so much nicer on Final Cut. Final Cut only works on, on, on there. So this is my little editing suite. I love it. It does the job. I just got this keyboard really cheap from... Um, in fact, I think a friend gave me this keyboard. Um, yeah, it was Toby. Shout out to Toby. Um, so yeah, Toby, cheers. I need to get a, a little thing to go over, over that. So there's still things, there's a lot to be doing, but I've also done a lot already, if that makes sense. And it doesn't, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to get your guys' ideas of what you think we should do in the rooms and how you think we should lay things out. If you guys have seen something in your past, you think, oh, that would look good in the bedroom, in your bedroom, Alex, or that would look good in your, in your office then feel free to tweet me or tell me in the comment section um, down below. So we'll go for one last little walk around and then we'll, we'll end this thing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this video essentially just to tell you guys that it doesn't look like much has happened, but a lot has happened. And that was a really hard thing for me to try and say about hopefully this video does just that. All the stuff in this house I've had to do because it literally was just bricks and floor and a roof when I got it. So that's that. Table's coming soon. That's it. Um, let me know what you think we should do with certain rooms and what projects we should work on and if you've got any ideas for the house and projects and stuff. But yeah, I'll um, see you in the next one.